Well, I see the, these huge levels of depression and despair, uh, loneliness in kids. Uh, and I don't think that there's a single cause to it. Um, and I think blaming it on, you know, depression about climate is probably oversimplistic. And in fact, I think a lot of the problems we see in kids, and particularly boys, um, it, it's probably underappreciated um, that uh, how much of that is coming from chemical exposures, including a lot of the sexual dysphoria that we're seeing. That, you know, that these kids are being overwhelmed by a tsunami. I mean, they're swimming through a soup of toxic chemicals today, and many of those are endocrine disruptors. Um, there's atrazine throughout our water supply. Atrazine, by the way, if you in a lab put atrazine in, in, a, in a, a, a tank full of frogs, it will chemically castrate and force, forcibly uh, uh, feminize every frog in there, and 10% of the frogs, the male frogs, will uh, will turn into fully viable females able to produce viable eggs. And if you, if, if, if it's doing that to frogs, it could, re it, there's a lot of other evidence that it's doing it to human beings as well. So, and you know, I'm happy to talk about that later, but I, I don't think blaming this, uh, this epidemic of de depression and despair on people who are, you know, fanning fears of climate um, are, is, I think that's oversimplistic.